welcome the YouTube channel for our open training session ahead of the 2023-2024 season here in League Two. My name is Greg Lambert. I'm joined by former Morecambe manager Jim Harvey. Jim, how are you feeling being back at Morecambe and what do you think about the uh, Morecambe's uh, uh, going into League Two this season? What are your feelings? Yeah, uh, disappointing last year just to, to lose out and not stay up. But, um, you know, you've got to start again and you've got to take, uh, you've got to be realistic. For Morecambe even to get that far was incredible. And uh, now they've got to regroup, I believe, and uh, they've lost a lot of players. So uh, hopefully they've recruited well and they can give it a good go this year. We've got the, the squad here uh, going through the paces at the open training session here this afternoon. There's a great crowd here as well this afternoon watching, <coughs> watching on. Now, during this uh, programme, we're going to be chatting to the Morecambe manager, Derek Adams. We'll also be joined by one of the new players, Jacob Davenport. He'll be joining us later on. And we'll also be taking a look at League Two, looking at some of the challenges that Morecambe will face this season. It all gets underway on Saturday at home to Walsall. That's the first game this season. We're back. Let's, uh, let's hear it for the Morecambe manager, Derek Adams. So, Derek, uh, how do you reflect on pre season, first of all, the games that you've seen, how are things going in terms of uh, preparation for the new season? Yeah, we've obviously had a difficult time pre season. We started it uh, with six players uh, from last season. Uh, we all understand why. Um, we've obviously had financial problems over the, the pre-season. We've got all the issues at this moment in time that uh, we're waiting to be resolved. Uh, but as we go into the first game of the season, um, we've got 19 players you know, with us. Now let's uh, have a quick talk about uh, last season. Uh, which was a dramatic finish to the season, ultimately unsuccessful, coming so close to remaining in League One. Having had a bit of time to reflect, how do you look back on last season? Really disappointed um, because, you know, we finished with the highest points total that our football clubs ever had in League One. And um, we didn't get back uh, in that January transfer window, uh, which didn't help us. And uh, we had to, you know, get players out before we get uh, players in. Now let's talk a little bit about the fact you've got, uh, like you said, a lot, a lot of new players have come in. What's been your sort of overall strategy behind recruitment in pre-season? Well, as I said, it's very difficult because uh, financially we'll have um, the highest budget that um, we'll ever have in League Two, but we've got the lowest budget uh, in League Two. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, a play in words is, is obviously very good uh, and I appreciate that. And as a manager, uh, as a politician, uh, we all know how to, to play awards. So, um, 
from my point of view, we've got to be very creative uh, with the budget that we have. And we've done really well to get the 19 players in that we've got at uh, this moment in time. And as a group, you know, they're working hard uh, to get themselves fit and ready for the first game against Walsall. And just quickly, we'll talk just quickly about Walsall. Uh, big game on Saturday, obviously kicking off the League Two season. Uh, what do you see as uh, the, the sort of the big challenges ahead in League Two? Yeah, I mean, it's the same as, you know, last time we were in League Two. Uh, it's about overachieving and uh, that's what we did we got promoted out of League 2 into League 1 uh, which was an overachievement and uh, we were here to try and upset as many teams as we possibly can and uh, we've got a good group of players that are willing to do well, yes we could have greater uh, squad debt but we can't do that at this moment in time, we'll look to take three more players in to make it 22 man squad uh, going into the season if that becomes the start of the season, uh, we'll have to wait and see. But um, before the transfer window closes, we would have 22 you know, senior players in the ranks. OK, well, thanks very much for that, Derek. Best of luck to you and all the staff and the team for the new season. Let's hear it for Thank Derek you. Adams. So we're back here at the Mazuma Mobile Stadium with our open training session here today ahead of the League Two campaign, the Morecambe team. Training on the pitch behind me, a little bit of excitement before. I think it was the, uh, the world heavyweight champion, Tyson Fury, landing his helicopter. He's got his gym just behind us here at uh, the Mazuma Mobile Stadium. Uh, Jim Harvey's here with me again, former Morecambe manager. We're going to talk a little bit about League Two. We've heard from Derek Adams with his thoughts about uh, the upcoming season, Jim. But Morecambe kick off on Saturday with Walsall right here at home. And... Uh, like you said, it's going to be a competitive league too, and a lot of talk about teams like Wrexham coming up into league two with a famous Hollywood owner, Ryan Reynolds, a lot of, a lot of money behind them. But um, do you think their favourites tag is justified or you know, coming up from the National League, are they going to find it a bit of an adjustment, do you think? Well, they've got, certainly got momentum, but <clears throat> uh, stepping up a level again, who knows? Uh, but I think they've got the resources if they need to improve the squad. So possibly, you know, favourites, I would, I would go along with that. But, uh, you know, again, it'll take eight or ten games to see how things settle down. But uh, I'm quite excited, actually, this year about the league because there are so many northwest clubs that there'll be a load of uh, local derbies. And then that's going to increase the gates and the atmospheres. And uh, I think it's going to be a really interesting season. We've got Barrow, for example, and then that's uh, a rivalry stretching back a lot of years. Or you'll, I'm sure you'll remember the Morecambe Barrow games from years gone by. Well, I do remember coming up the very first time to watch Morecambe, and uh, they were playing Barrow. And I think there were about uh, 11 or 1,200 people on that day. Uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of rivalry, a lot of uh, interest in the game. But I would imagine this year there'll be, you know, a lot more people coming. They might, might be looking again to do five or six thousand, I would imagine, but um, I think they had a good run last year. So, But a lot of the teams uh, in the Northwest are, are strong and they're going to prove to be strong opposition. So, a very competitive um, league, but a lot of really interesting games. Oh, yeah. 
So we're back here pitch side at the open training session here at Morecambe FC today. I'm delighted to be joined by Jacob Davenport, one of Morecambe's new recruits. How are you doing, Jacob? How's today been for you? Yeah, it's been good. <laughs> it's been good to get outside um, in front of the fans. Um, nice to be for the surface, so it's a good open training session to show the fans what we can do as well. And how's it been for you settling in your first few weeks here at Morecambe? It's been easy, the lads have been great, all the staff have been great. Um, it's got a well, very family feel, so it's been pretty easy, to be honest. Have much chance to have a look around the town? Not yet, but I plan to get to the beach. Yeah, get yourself out on that day when it's a little bit nicer, I would, I would, <laughs> I would say. So looking ahead to the new League Two season, what's your, what's your aims coming into the club? Uh, coming into the club, personally, just to play games. Um, and then with the team, we just want to finish as high as we can. And I think we can do that with the squad we've got. Now, last season you were with Stockport came very close to promotion. Have you got one eye on that as a, a fixture on the, the fixture list for this season playing them? Yeah, definitely. I think when, whenever you play for previous clubs, you always look for them games um, and it'll be a good game against them as they did well last year, so it'll be a tough game. And uh, in closing, just a word for the wonderful fans who, who braved the weather for, to come out and support you all today. No, we appreciate everyone coming out for us and uh, watching us today, especially in the rain. And thanks for coming out and making your time. Well, Jacob, best luck to you and the lads for the new season. Thanks very much for Thank chatting you. to us here at the Open Training Session at Morecambe. And that uh, brings us to the end of uh, our programme here for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to everybody for coming. The players are going to be uh, available now for autographs and a few photos with the fans. And don't forget the new season kicks off this Saturday. Walsall at home, 3 o'clock, Mobile Stadium. See you then.